Hello, and welcome to the Calculating Estimated Tax Payments webinar. My name is Rhonda Collins, and I'm NATP's Director of Tax Content and Government Relations. My diverse professional background of over 25 years in the industry includes positions with the big four accounting firms, a nationally recognized healthcare system, and a Fortune 500 company specializing in online tax and accounting software. And I am here today to talk to you about the importance of estimated tax payments. Well, first of all, what are estimated tax payments? Estimated tax payments represent one of the ways to pay taxes due on income that does not have federal income taxes withheld throughout the year. This income may include earnings from self-employment, interest, dividends, rent, unemployment, taxable part of Social Security benefits, and possibly alimony. The general rule regarding who must pay estimated payments is individuals, including sole proprietors, partners, S corporation shareholders. Generally, they have to make estimated tax payments if they expect to owe tax of $1,000 or more after subtracting any withholdings and or refundable credits when their tax return is filed. Corporations, if their tax liability is greater than 500. There's some special rules for farmers and fishermen, household employees, and higher income taxpayers. In regards to the special rules for farmers and fishermen, if at least two thirds of their gross income for tax year 2020 or 2021 is from farming or fishing, you would want to substitute 66 and two thirds percent for the 90%. The 100% rule does not change. In regards to the special rules for household employees, when estimating the tax on the 2021 tax return, you'd want to include household employment taxes if either of these two situations are applicable. If the taxpayer will have federal income tax withheld from wages, pensions, annuities, gambling, winnings, or other income, or the taxpayer would be required to make estimated tax payments to avoid a penalty, even if the taxpayer didn't include household employment taxes when figuring estimated tax. And here we go, some special rules for higher income taxpayers. If the adjusted gross income for tax year 2020 was more than 150,000, that would be 75,000 if the filing status is married filing separately, you'd wanna substitute 110% for the 100% under the general rule that we discussed a little earlier. Note, this rule doesn't apply to farmers or fishermen. <laughs> 